Mario did a great job. Right? I think uh, I, I learned something from your talk. In fact, I thought the, the part where about the brand is an experience. I, I never thought of that uh, before until you, you spoke about it and then I realized that hey, actually that's actually what I'm doing in my business. It's just that I, I didn't know about it. Uh, but before I start, right, uh, maybe I can kind of get a feel of the room also. Uh, it's, uh, how many of you run your own uh, e-commerce business? And uh, how many of you are thinking of starting? And how many of you don't have any business? Uh, you're just here to learn something and then maybe you want to try something on later on. Okay, great. So I say about uh, three quarter of the room is uh, uh, you guys are, are, are into like e-commerce and all that. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about uh, retargeting ads. And, and why retargeting ads? Because they make you the most money. Right, they make you the most money. Okay, so uh, I know like some of you are like very, you know, studious, and you are like taking out all the notes here. Uh, I would say, you know, if you want to write something, go ahead. Uh, but I would say, you know, pay attention to the to my presentation because uh, I will have the slides uh, for you guys to download after the uh, presentation, and of course. I'll also give you a bonus tip, right, uh, if you stay to the end. And so about myself, I'm, my name is Henry, and uh, I've been doing e-commerce for five, uh, now it's 2019, right, so it's like six years already. And I've sold on multiple e-commerce platforms like Amazon, eBay, like Kuten, Lazada, Carousel, Shopee, uh, lots of all the marketplaces, uh, a lot of them I, I've done it, and uh, I run a seven figures company with about 20, people's, uh, 20 people on my team. And honestly, right, I'm just a regular guy, I'm just a regular guy here. And the only thing is that you know, I, I passionately love e commerce, right? And, uh, and, and WooCommerce is, is like my, my go to uh, uh, CMS that I use. Right, and what, I'm, what am I going to cover? So I'm going to cover on uh, Facebook, Instagram, right? Facebook, Instagram, e retargeting, right? Google retargeting, uh, YouTube retargeting. Uh, I'm not going to go specific like uh, how you're going to create an account, how you're going to you know create an ad, what kind of pictures you're going to use. I'm just going to give you like a strategy, right? Because we only got like 30 minutes today, and I'm going to give you a strategy, uh, a plan to start running retargeting ads, right? Uh, those, how many of you are not running retargeting ads right now, like for your business? Okay, you are missing out a lot right now. And uh, okay, so, so uh, some technical terms, because some of you might not understand, right? What is audience? You know, what is pixel? What is like analytics code? What is events? Uh, what is all this? I'm going to explain it, right? So audience means uh, this group of people that you're going to show advertising to. This, and this group of people are called the audience. And what Pixel is, Pixel is actually a tracking code that is given by Facebook, right? What you do is uh, with this code, you're going to put it into your website. And every time somebody comes into your website, Facebook will know who that is. Right, so maybe, uh, uh, Miss, what's your name? Oliga. 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 So let's say, uh, Miss Oliga here, right, comes to my website, my e-commerce website, and uh, she's logged into her Facebook profile, right? And what happens is that Facebook will know, oh, okay, this is Oliga, right? So yeah, you, all of us have no privacy here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and even if you know she's not logged into her Facebook profile, right? She would go in and then she, she maybe she creates an account on my e-commerce website, my WooCommerce website, right? And she, she puts in her, her, her email that she uses for Facebook. Facebook will know that's her also, right? And what is Google Analytics code? Uh, is also a, a, is the same kind of similar uh, code, right? That is given by Google, right? Instead of Facebook, that you place into your website as well. Okay, and uh, events and what pixel events, so uh, Google calls it events, Facebook calls it pixel events, it's very similar. And what events is, is that, uh, let's say Oliga comes to my website, okay, that is one event, right? And Oliga goes to a particular product, 
and she adds to cart, that's another event. And if Oliga checks out and pays for it, that's another event. Okay. So all of you understand? Do I need to okay great? And so what is retargeting? Retargeting is a strategy, right, to reach out to these uh, potential customers. They already come to your website. Uh, they have performed certain actions that triggered those events, right? And you are going to show advertisement based on their behavior on your website. Okay? And this is how retargeting works. So a prospect comes to your website, okay? And what happens is that this prospect, uh, uh, they will download a, a, a cookie or something like that on their website and they go onto Facebook. So sometimes you go to uh, a website, maybe a Lazada or something like that, and then you go onto Facebook and then you suddenly see their ad coming up. Right? And it's the same exact product that you saw on their website. Maybe you, you look at the a new uh, Sony TV that you wanted to buy for like your, your Chinese New Year, right? And then you, you, you go on Facebook and you see the same product, okay? Or you go to a, a different website, uh, maybe a news website like uh, Straits Time or something like that, and then you see the same TV being shown, right? And, and it's from Lazada, right? And then uh, what happens is that uh, you're being shown the retargeting ads, and you click, if you click on them, you will go back to uh, Lazada's website again. Okay, so that's uh, what retargeting is. So, may I ask a question, right? Why, why do you want to do retargeting? Anybody knows why? Uh, it's cheaper to, it's, it's cheaper to, to sell to an existing customer than to get a new customer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, he, he answered the most of the question, right? Basically, is your we, we call it like cost per acquisition, right? How much you're going to advertise to to get a new customer is much lower if the customer has already uh, sort of have a bit of familiarity with your business already, right? And they they have uh, they definitely have more trust uh, than a stranger who have never seen your business before, right? So yeah. So, and another reason is that uh, the cart abandonment rate, right, is uh, people are going to come to your website, they add to cart, so like Oliga, she comes to my website, she adds a product to the cart, right, but she doesn't check out, she leaves, maybe she, she, uh, she goes on Netflix or something like that, watch an, a, a new TV show, right, so this is what we call a cart abandonment. How many of you are shocked? about this number right, how many of you are shocked right <laughs> okay how many of you think that uh, how many of you feel that uh, like 100 people come to your website right how many people do you think would buy from you One. okay that's a very realistic number so those who are not in business yet right sorry to burst your bubble <laughs> okay so 100 people are going to come to your website they add stuff into the cart right 78 percent of them are not going to buy Okay, so they'll leave, but retargeting ads are going to convert 26% of this lost customer. And if you take that number, that means you will actually convert 20% more uh, customers, right? And if you add that, uh, you know, that would be 41%, 41.6%. Okay, so because 26% uh, of 78, that's about 20%. Okay. And uh, this 41.6% is people who have add to cart. So that means 4 out of 10 people that add item to the cart, right? 4 would buy. And that's like a very good number already, right? You know, that is almost double your sales. You almost double your, your, your conversion rate, right? And it reduces, right? CPA is, uh, sorry, I forget to put the term there, right? CPA is the cost per acquisition. Right, so how much do you spend on advertising to get a new customer? Okay, that cost goes down by 44%. So if you spend $100 to get a new customer today, you, if you had done retargeting, you will only spend $66. Okay? Uh, by the way, those numbers are like, I just, I just use it for easy to you know, calculate. Actually, the CPA could be much lower, depends on your business. Okay, so the well-kept secret here is very simple, is that we are going to build these uh, audiences up step by step. 
we're going to slowly move them through. So uh, just now Mario talked a bit about uh, funnel, right? So we're going to slowly move these people up the uh, down the funnel, okay? And step by step, how, do we go how, how are we going to do that is that uh, we need to firstly understand all the minimum and recommended audience sizes and the pixel events. Okay, sorry, it sounds a bit complicated. Uh, I'm going to explain here a bit. Okay, so, uh, so the thing is that to advertise to a group of people, okay, because nowadays with the privacy law, right, I can't have like Oligas email and then uh, I purposely just do a particular uh, advertisement only to her, right? Have you all seen like a news article on that, like uh, this guy, he, he grabs his uh, friend's uh, email and then he advertises him on some uh, suggestive uh, advertisements. Right, yeah. So nowadays you can't do that. You need to have what we call like a minimum size or recommended size, so that your advertisement can show. Okay. And okay. By the way, my method, right, is is it can be very different. Uh, some marketers out there might feel that you should do uh, retargeting differently. They should run ads differently. My method is this way, right? So I'm sharing with you my method. Okay, so how do you uh, firstly do that? First, you need to uh, go to uh, business.facebook.com, right? You create an account over there, right? A business account. Uh, this is so that you can start running uh, advertisements, okay? And then you have uh, you want to create a Facebook page. If you don't have a Facebook page, you can't run ads. And then you want to create a pixel. So you are going to create a code, and then with that code, you're going to insert that into your website, and then you're going to test out the pixel to make sure that you know it's working so maybe you just do a test order or something like that and you see that if is there any uh, activity on the code on the tracking code itself right so uh, I won't go into the technical part right I think if you google you find a lot of uh, guides on how to do all this uh, technical stuff so because I want to give you guys the strategy right so that you guys can take action and do something and, and improve your your, your e-commerce site today right so Facebook the minimum audience size is 100, okay? So that means you're going to need 100 people before you can run an advertisement, right? You need 100 people so that you can run an advertisement to them, right? If you have 99, the ad will not show, right? And the recommended pixel events is uh, 100 per month, right? Uh, this is when you want to optimize uh, the ad for a particular event i'm going to cover that shortly okay so we have these two numbers to play with then we know okay we need 100 people in this uh, audience so that we can run advertising to them right so uh and then now we're going to talk about pixel events there are there are few pixel events i'm going to use them i'm going to talk about them from a point of uh, woocommerce or e-commerce uh, events right which is the first one is called view content so remember just now I said like Oliga to come to my website, okay, and she if the page fully loads right, okay, the code uh, she will load the code right, then then uh, Facebook will know oh Oliga comes came to my website, and that will trigger this event is called view content, okay, and then if she adds an item to cart, she will uh, fire off this what we call a add to cart uh, pixel. Then the initiate checkout, so she's now click on the checkout button, and if she successfully paid everything, you know it will trigger the uh, purchase pixel. Okay, so now we have this information. We are going to piece them together, and then we're going to build, uh, you know, a, a roadmap, right, for our this uh, retargeting. Uh, strategy okay so what we're going to do is because we need 100 people so your goal is uh, your facebook audiences right you can create up to six months of uh, audiences okay so that that means uh, people who come to your website up to six months okay you can have you can retain those data okay and with that in mind we are going to firstly aim for 100 visitors if you are new website you know, it's it, it's it's a it's an uphill battle, right? So it's uh, it's gonna take a while before we even have one hundred people onto our website. Okay, 
So we're going to aim for 100 first, and then the next step is to uh, we're going to aim for 100 visitors in the first month. Uh, sorry, in one month, right? Because if you have six months of audiences and you run ads, that means they will be seeing the ads for six months. Am I right? Can all of you understand this? Okay. And nobody wants to see an ad for six months, they'll get very tired of it. Okay, so you want to aim for like one month and then you aim for 100 in two weeks. And that's like, okay, right? You show an ad for two weeks. Okay, and this is when your ad starts to work very well. Right, this is when your ad starts to work very well, and then you aim for like ten days, uh, maybe then. Now you see, uh, so now we are. You remember the pixel event? So this this first four points here, right? I'm talking about like view content, right? People coming to your website, they load a page on your website, then you 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 know they they, they view something on your website. Okay, so that's one hundred visitors. Now the next step is, do you want to retarget? people who just visit your website or they have the intention to buy which will work better right those with intention to buy right and what is the intention to buy is when they add the item to cart when they add the item to cart that means they thought, oh this might be interesting i want to buy this but they somehow they didn't purchase it at the end right okay so now you want to aim for 100 like maybe within two weeks okay and i think two weeks is a very good goal because uh i add to cut then maybe i don't want to buy it now i want to wait right and two weeks is is very good i think if it's longer than that then maybe the person might not really be keen anymore am i right then we aim for like five days if they if they add to cut right the intention is there, right? You want to grab them as soon as possible, right? So you run ads uh, to them immediately, like five days, something like that. Okay, so what can you do? Because now you have the add to cart, you have the view content, right? And what can you do with the purchases? People who have buy, what, what are you going to do with them? Anybody has the answer? The answer is over there already. <laughs> reviews, right? Reviews, we, need, we want reviews from them, right? The more people buy, it has social proof, right? It, it shows the, uh, what we call the ownership benefit, right? And, and that's why we want to uh, get more reviews. And we want real v reviews, right? Not fake reviews, right? So if we can have like 100 purchases in 30 days, you know, something like that, or 14 days, 7 days, right? It depends, you know, how, how, how much traffic your, your web website is getting, right? And what we do is, uh, I'll give you a, this is a very good tip, right? Uh, I, think, I think none of you would know this here. So what you do is that with these purchases, right, you create like a contest. You create a contest that uh, maybe weekly, this whole week, right, uh, those people that have left review on your website, Okay, you're going to give them a bonus, like, like something, you know, maybe a, a, a discount code or, or you give them a, a free product, something like that, a contest, okay? And then you run that ad and people are going to leave a lot of reviews for you, right? Because you're showing this particular ad to people that has already purchased from you already, okay? And if they like, you know, the experience and all that, they definitely want you know, additional bonus uh, from your company, right? Or from your business, okay? So we're gonna do the same. Uh, I'm gonna want some of your participation here, right? Uh, so just now I talked about Facebook. Now we're gonna work with Google, okay? So uh, Google, uh, what you do is you create an uh, analytics account, you insert the code, right? You create the account and uh, you insert the uh, remarketing code as well. And then you want to test if the codes are working. So Google is a bit more complicated because they have what we call a Google Analytics code. And then they also have a remarketing code. And then you need to put them both into your website. Okay. So I'm not going to cover this as well. 
So let's talk about Google, right? So uh, GDN, it means the Google Display Network. Right, that means websites that is they have uh, what we call the AdSense uh, ads on their website. Okay, so that is called uh, the Google Display Network. Okay, and uh, the minimum audience size is one hundred. Okay, this one if you Google, you see see it on uh, Google's uh, web website, and then the search network audience size is actually one thousand. The YouTube audience size is 1000 as well and the Gmail audience size is 100 okay so you can also do ads in Gmail right those that use Gmail will know this right and uh, it has to be within the last 30 days so Google is a bit more challenging because the the goal is 30 days and 1,000 people in 30 days uh, for a new business, that can be very challenging. Okay, so how would, maybe somebody could, could uh, share, right? How, how are you going to build this uh, remarketing uh, strategy out? Maybe you, sir? All right. Uh, I haven't done this before. Okay, because, uh, I, I'm going to move it back to the Facebook right okay so that you guys can see okay yeah so how would you do something like that how would you plan the strategy for retargeting in Google for e-commerce contacts right? uh, e-commerce or whichever yeah basically you have a website right what, what would you do um. Okay. So firstly, you have to aim for the minimum audience first, right? So without the minimum audience, your ad cannot run, right? So you want to aim for 100 people on your website so that you can run Google Display Network ads, right? And Gmail ads, right? And then what would be your you know, second step? Sorry? Where do we see the uh, Google ads? The Facebook ads we see in Facebook. What about Google? Okay, so Google has four different uh, ads. One is called the uh, Google Display Network. And you see them on other people's website. So maybe if you go to a news website, they would insert a, a banner here somewhere, or maybe you've been to like some forums or some other uh, blogs, they will put some ads on the side, a banner here and there, which changes every time. That is called uh, Google AdSense. That's where Google show the ads. Okay, and then you've got YouTube. I'm sure you have seen YouTube ads, right? Because you're watching a video halfway and then they, it, it cuts off, right? Which is very annoying for us, right? That's uh, YouTube. And then we've got Gmail. Have you seen Gmail ads? So like your inbox is like the one, the first or second, right? Yeah, then you put ads over there. And then the last one is, of course, uh, the search network ads, which is if you're searching for something like uh, Singapore Malayan, let's say, and then you see uh, some companies paying for the advertisement right at the top, right? That's called the search network. Okay? Yeah. No problem. Because this is a bit, uh, a bit, a bit technical and a bit advanced, right? So just now we, I, I mentioned, right? So what we do is we have one hundred visitors, right? Because we need one hundred to satisfy uh, the minimum requirement to show the ads, right? And and it has to be the last thirty days, okay? So we already achieved that in the thirty days. Then the next step is we want to we don't want to advertise to the same people for too long because they will get very jaded from the ads. So we try and achieve like hundred people within fourteen days, right? That would be the next step. Then seven days, something like that. Can I understand so far? Yes. How to attract first person to your website? Uh, okay. So because you have Google Analytics, right? Okay, so Google Analytics, 
you just need to enter like uh, you filter the last 30 days and then they will give you like how many unique visitors are coming to your website okay otherwise what you can do is you can just put up the ad if it doesn't run that means it's you you haven't satisfied the requirement no i mean how to attract first person to your website oh okay i think that's not the topic today because that'll be a very long topic but you can uh, basically cover that through uh, you can attract traffic through uh, seo right uh, that's search engine optimization you can run facebook ads you can run google ads okay you can uh, email market right or you can even do offline marketing uh, basically your goal is to get like 100 people who are interested in your product go to your website so that you can run retargeting ads today okay uh, one quick question. Yes. Uh, regard, uh, for, okay, because there's a lot of uh, ad blockers that you can, if you if you use Mozilla Firefox, right, you can install a um, ad blocker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so all the a lot of the ads that you actually mentioned right, will actually be blocked away. With, like uh, th those on YouTube. Uh, I, I um, Yeah, mostly on YouTube. Right. So for your retargeting ads, right. Is that, is that a very huge obstacle? Uh, I would say it is not a huge obstacle. Uh, but if you ask me, right, Facebook or Google, which is better for retargeting? Uh, Facebook is better, right? Because Facebook right now, uh, the cost uh, for advertising is still much lower than Google. Google is a lot higher. But uh, YouTube works very well. And uh, Search Network actually works very well as well. Because let's say... Uh, you let's say your product is called uh, uh, ABC skincare okay ABC skincare and somebody comes to your website ABC ABC skincare would they be thinking about a different skincare brand as well right let's say uh, I, I, I come to this website is a skincare website okay because I'm a small company right so the people the ladies who have come to my website they will have used other skincare brands. Maybe they will be searching. So later they come to my website, then they exit, right? Maybe they are thinking of uh, ABC, ABC uh, skincare brand versus this other brand, maybe called SK2, you know, which is better, right? So what I do is I would pay a lot of money to make sure that I'm on the search network upright there you know at the top because then i will get them back to my website again what means much money sorry what means much money, much much money? i would pay maybe uh two or three times more than the uh the the what the suggested bid is but, uh, can you mention an amount uh it depends on the keyword itself yeah, but let's say if it's for skincare, it'll be, it, it may be very expensive, like 6 to $7 for a click. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but uh, you know, if I, 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 I might be willing to pay $20 over dollars just to get somebody to come back to my website, right? Because uh, it, it's a skincare product. Uh, if they were to reorder, uh, I would make that money back again. Okay? So, uh, everybody understand this so far? What the strategy, how it works, right? How to come up with a plan for your for your for your business, okay? So the bonus here is uh, this has nothing to do with uh, retargeting ads, okay? So it's about you know how do I get more purchases? How can I get more orders, okay? So just now I talked about the recommended uh, pixel events, right? It's one hundred from Facebook, okay? So what is this recommended? It means that this pixel must have 100 events within the last 30 days so that you, when you run an ad, the Facebook pixel will optimize for a, a particular event. So let, let's say it's purchases because we all want more orders right, on our website. So if you have 100 orders in the last month okay, through Facebook ads, you can now optimize for purchases. And what Facebook will do, they will go and find people who are most likely to purchase from your website and they will show advertising to them. Can you understand this? Yes. It, it sounds crazy, but because Facebook has so much data, 
they can form uh, people's profile, right? So let's say, uh, sir, what's your name? Oh, Samson. Samson. So let's say Samson over here, he likes, uh, I, I don't know, he likes, uh, uh, maybe he likes to play video games, right? Let's say he likes uh, PlayStation, okay? So Samson has purchased, has purchased from my uh, game store before. And, and 100 Samsung purchased from me before. So what, what happened is that Facebook will now go and find people who are similar to Samsung to buy from me and they will show advertising to them. Oh. It sounds like, well, this is like out of this world, right? But that's how much data that uh, Facebook actually has. Okay, so once you have achieved this goal, all you need to do is you just run an ad Optimize for purchases, and uh, Facebook will go and find and show advertising to these people who will be more likely to buy from you. Okay, and then you optimize for purchase. Okay, so uh, that's all I have. Okay, and uh, if you want to connect with me, right? Uh, so just now I talked about the uh, slides you can download from here. Okay, so you can, if you have a QR code, you can scan it. Uh, otherwise, it's actually uh, there's a link here, right? That you can go to to download the slides. So Henry, just quickly, we're obviously at a WordPress meetup, and I know you didn't go into any technical stuff, but can we relate it back quickly just to some WordPress solutions? I know there's pixel on my side, and there's a couple other. Oh, things okay. That used before, just so that we can okay, so uh, the okay, so when you want to install uh, the pixel into your website, right? Uh, in WordPress, you can use. Uh, they actually have a, a free plugin that you can use. It's called Pixel for WooCommerce, is it? Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of them. But yeah. Uh, that's the one that is uh, WooCommerce actually create, created for Facebook, right? Yeah. So you can use face, uh, Facebook Pixel for WooCommerce. I think that's the one. Okay. I'm using... What's, what's the one I use? Pixel your site. Yeah. So that's the one I use. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I, I... Pro I, version as well. Yeah. It will so, essentially do all your tracking for you and set up all your clicks and things um, all within WordPress rather than having to set up a unique JavaScript code and things each time. So yeah, I have never used the uh, Facebook Pixel for WooCommerce. Uh, I'm using the Pro version for Pixel Your Site. Okay, uh, But that's a, a Pro plugin, so you've got to pay for that. They have, a, free they have a free version. Yeah, I use the pro version, so uh, it, it makes it easier for you to install because all you need to do is that once you created the pixel code on your uh, Facebook Business Manager, right, you can use that code and just enter the number in and, and it will just implement throughout your whole site. It's like very seamless and, and simple. Yeah, sorry, you have a, yeah. you have a question? Uh, I couldn't say any of that because when I started uh, using the plugin, right, uh, it was only the the only one in the market then. Uh, there was it was the only one in the market then. Uh, it's called Pixel Your Site, so that's the one I use. Uh, it was the very first plugin for 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 a feature like this, uh, and then later on, WooCommerce uh, actually came out with Facebook Pixel for WooCommerce. So I, I can't, maybe, maybe you want to ask Shan the free to version, test it. Yeah, the free version does essentially view content and I think it has, does add to cart as well. But if you want to do anything like time on site or if you want to do purchases and things like that, then you need to kind of upgrade to get the new pro version that does a little bit more advanced targeting. You can organize your audiences and things like that within the WordPress plugin. Um, the WordPress uh, sorry, the Facebook Business Manager can be a bit complicated if you're kind of just jumping in. So using that WordPress plugin as, as a kind of medium in between is a good solution to it. But have a look. I think the Pro license is maybe $40 a year or something like that. But have a look at the, the free version first, see if that does it for you. And then yeah, I think it's, it's like, uh, if I'm not wrong, because I, I recently just renewed, I think it's like, 70 80 dollars and then when you renew it's like way cheaper 
And, and honestly, the, the developer is he's, he's very open. Like, like, if you email him, he'll give you the, like discount and stuff. <laughs> so that's what I did. Uh. So just a pro tip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any questions? Uh, so, uh, also, you can connect with me on Twitter and uh, Facebook here. So, any questions for me? Sorry, yeah, let me. Yeah, any questions for me? I have a question. Um, uh, I'm also thinking how to create this ad. Create the ad? Yes. Okay. You know, some, some, I see ads, you know, Facebook. Okay, so you. I some videos or whatever, I'm struggling with. Yeah, you because you mentioned that you're running a drop shipping store, right? Okay, I'm and <laughs> and uh, how are you attracting the traffic? Not yet. I just oh, okay. Didn't. So you just started. Started, yes. The the website is done. The suppliers already there. So. Okay, because uh, I I'm not a like a pro copywriter or something like that. Uh, but the ad, uh, I I can probably you know show you like the ad creation process. That's not difficult. The important, the, the most important part, right, is your words and like the image you use or the video that you're, you know, you're creating to insert into the uh, ad. Okay. Yeah. Very so nice. so in general. Talk before it's sort of really knowing your audience and knowing their trigger points and there's there's a bunch of yeah. formulas that you can get to make sure that you're kind of addressing each of those points in the Facebook ad. But being at a remarketing ad you've kind of got them further along in the journey so you don't have to do as much convincing of kind of who you are it's more playing on their emotions to, to look at buying that product yeah, but I can kind of share with you a bit in, uh, I, I, because I do have friends who do uh, drop shipping and some of them like do like you know like 10 million in sales and all that <laughs> kind of stuff but they uh, what what their formula is right is very simple is that they test a lot of different products and then uh, they, they usually get a simple product let's say if it's a, a laptop right and then they will they will create a new different uh, video to show a different angle of the product that uh, that you know the product is is not like what it seems originally you know and and it creates a lot of excitement Right, the whole whole thing about like like uh, Facebook ads with drop shipping, it's about uh, you know creating something exciting, a video that's very exciting, uh, that 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 you know uses their emotion to 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 get them to purchase. So that's kind of like how the the formula is for for that sort of business. Yeah, I hope you answer your question. Sorry, Samson, you have a question. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, uh, I actually did. Come across WordPress right, four years ago. Okay. Because I was uh, working in a, as a sales engineer. Okay. I was trying to drive traffic right, to. Uh, I was selling a new product, so I was trying. I, I created a blog right, just hundred percent writing about uh, the product. Uh, no, no, no. I, I wrote about you no know, because I I went through like my analysis halfway right, and I decided to just focus on uh, organic traffic. Okay. Yeah, because there's a lot of uh, the the rules at that time right. Okay. Facebook, they keep changing. So, so I, I use. Uh, I found that it was very effective. Uh, if I blog about other stuff, like let's say I'm, I'm targeting the uh, mechanical engineering uh, okay. industry, but I started to talk about solar industry, hydro. So within two weeks, I actually got uh, like 100 to 200 people f coming to the website. I didn't know that was good at that time. Okay. So, so I my my question is, uh, do you actually use? Uh, do you actually use blogs? Yeah, yeah, we do. We it's, it's very time. It's very inten It's very time intensive. Right? Uh, because for me it's different because I, uh, because I have like four writers in my team oh. to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but of course I can give you a tip like, is that you, you hire people from like <laughs> Philippines or like Indonesia, you know. Uh, that's what I do. But honestly, uh, most of them they they are. The you know that honestly their their command of English is, is even though they, they they learn it from from school right a lot of them are not as good as us in terms of writing and uh, like like for what I do is I, I have like two Indonesians in my team uh, I believe they are like Indonesian Chinese or something like that they they are university students right so that's how kind of how you can you know bring the cost lower right uh, and then uh, with the with the Filipinos, uh, if you basically when you come, 
when when it comes to a particular role where it's about like it, it needs a bit of a skill or talent, right? You uh you 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 want to kind of pay them more money, lah. <laughs> yeah. So so normally those that I I pay much less, I have to do a lot of editing work for them. Uh, it's very tedious. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I hope that answer your question. So it is effective. It's just that it's it's very. In so what about uh auto auto blogging? Uh, you're talking like spin writer or something like that. So there's a there's an app there's an there's an app right? or there's a plugin in WordPress whereby uh, you collect all the content. Like let's say if you are talking about green energy. Then, no, I don't know how it works, but I heard about it. Okay, uh, I've never used that. Maybe, maybe Sean yeah, has... It's like RSS aggregator type plugins. They're uh, okay, generally... I think they, they, they plug content from other websites. They do, but it generally costs you more time in editing that stuff anyway, because you're not just wanting to republish what somebody else has written, so you're going to need to re-edit it anyway. Um, so it can generally cost you more. Yeah. Re-editing that content anyway, it's best to probably grab a snippet from that article, and then sort of link out, write three or four hundred words about what you think about that article, and then link it out that way rather than just kind of republishing that yeah. content because Google, you know, you don't offer anything more than the original author. Yeah. So I believe what they do is they 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 take content from other website, and then they put into your to your blog something like that. But uh, it's duplicated content, uh, so uh, you basically what happens is that uh, when people search your website and, and somebody else's website is ranking higher, they, you know, they will get all the traffic anyway because they were the original publisher, right? Yeah, so it doesn't uh, help that much, I'll say. Yeah. Any question? Yes, yeah, sir? You uh, mentioned Facebook and Google. Do you have any experience with LinkedIn? Uh, actually, I've, I I don't really have. <laughs> Maybe Mario has. Yeah, I do. Um, so I, we have a lot of B two B clients as well. Uh, so LinkedIn is a very powerful B two B um, tool. Um, I would say it really depends on what you're selling. Um, so yeah. it's really not the right platform for B two C um, unless you're talking more in general, like thought leadership, maybe um, to develop that, or maybe you're doing. CSR activities or something like that. It's a great platform to kind of push your um, voice in that way, but it would be a very different audience. It would be a very yeah. different approach. And if you're going to use LinkedIn um, advertising, it's very expensive because it's a yeah. very targeted, specific audience, right? They can target by job, by company, by you know every single CEO in a in specific industry. Um, across Southeast Asia, you could literally target that through LinkedIn, so of course that's a lot more expensive. Um, they caught up a lot with Facebook recently, and also yeah. introducing a lot of the similar um, ad formats, like videos, new, new, new to LinkedIn, yeah. Excel, yeah. etc. Um, I think what LinkedIn still gets quite a lot of flack for is um, it's so expensive and comparatively it takes so much more effort to see ROI. So if you're a small business, I can feel a bit defeating. You need to say sales navigator for a start, yeah. which is a hundred bucks a year just for that. Yeah. I, I I'm not so sure about LinkedIn because uh, I'm uh, I'm mostly doing like B two C right, so selling products. So uh, but what I've heard also it's that it's very expensive on LinkedIn. Yeah. LinkedIn is more for like B two B. Effective if you want to find work. Uh, you, uh, jobs. <laughs> yeah. I, swear, I, swear, I swear, because I, I was uh, from Australia, eh? then I, that was my last option to get a job through LinkedIn. But then, the, the boss actually called me through LinkedIn. So yeah, but, actually, but it's only a part of the, uh, of the attraction. But it has changed a lot. Of, but, but the good thing about LinkedIn is there's a lot of groups. You can, you can use, you can, there's three ways to, to make use of it. You join all the groups. Yeah. Like in businesses they're interested in, then you, you go there and uh, advertise your service. Yeah. Honestly, is uh, for B two B businesses, right? Uh, so, are you in the in the B two B business? Uh, no, I'm uh, sort of sharing expertise. Okay. For free. Okay. But uh, let's say if you're in the B two B business, right? Uh, I would say you have to combine uh, having like salesperson and 
ads together to make it work very well. Uh, because B two B, I feel it's a lot about relationship building, right? You have to build relationships, and then uh, slowly, then you can reach the decision maker to sell them the the idea, the the solution, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, I I'm not the best at because I I'm no influencer. Uh, I don't have a you know <laughs> sexy body or something like that, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. So I would say that uh, if you if you were to ask me, right? Uh, honestly, if I had like let's say ten thousand followers, uh, I would sell them products instead of uh, you know, selling advertising space to in in my in my uh, what do you call that feed? Is it? Instagram feed, yeah, because you would be making way more money. Let's say if you have a, I, I don't know what's the market rate because I I've never really done like influencer marketing, right? I'm not the best at it. But let's say if you have ten thousand followers and uh, the market rate is to charge hundred dollars for ten thousand uh, followers, right? If you know you your, because your post can reach ten thousand people, so then you charge hundred dollars, something like that. But at if ten thousand people, uh, maybe let's say one thousand of them see my ad, right, and one percent convert, right, that's ten sales, correct. Uh, if the my website, the average order value is like at least hundred hundred and sixty dollars, something like that. So you see, uh, I would make maybe thirty forty dollars off off uh, ten orders, uh, one order. You know? So like ten orders, that would be you know. Like three, four hundred dollars. So I, I wouldn't sell an ad in my Instagram. I would I would, you know, embrace my product and then share it, something like that. And and, and sell the product itself. I maybe we can catch Henry after yeah. approaching nine o'clock now. Oh, okay. so I don't know how long we have the space for Zero. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so probably that's a now long applause for Henry. Thank you.